Standing on a piece of ice that's slowly moving beneath you with plenty of crevasses to find your untimely end in means this is one of the most amazing things to do in Calafate. Well, it's our first adventure here in Calafate and probably our only one right now because we are heading off to Antarctica soon. So make sure you hit subscribe and join us for that. But today we're going to be hiking, 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 <laughs> hiking a glacier. God, I'm so shit with that script. <laughs> so we're hiking a glacier today, which is super exciting because I've been working all week because, you know, working remotely, adulting and all that shit. So yeah, this will be fun. The town itself definitely feels developed for tourism and it almost has this like mountain ski resort vibe. We're traveling on a budget, so exploring the Perito Moreno Glacier, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, was all we did here. I really want to share more with you guys how I managed to travel on a budget as a busy adult, so stay tuned for the end of the video for kind of like an itinerary budget breakdown thing for Calafate. But in the meantime, we got picked up for the trek and made our way to the national park. It was cold, rainy, and crowded as we started the tour in the so-called balconies where you can get great views of the glacier. I could do without the rain. But apparently, when it's not sunny, you can see that blue color so much better. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that on the camera, but ice just fell off. So cold. <laughs> I'm all wet. I can't get my hands in the gloves. <laughs> but it is freezing in this rain. Oh. That could be the boat we're going on soon. Yeah, we're going to go on a boat. Because we're going to go trek. Glacier. To escape the cold, we went to have lunch. Now, the tour operators tell you to bring your own, which actually made a lot of sense because once we arrived at the cafeteria, we saw that it was a zoo. So, we just had our little lunch break, and now we're actually gonna go trek the glacier, hike the glacier, which is a really random backwards way of doing it, but let's go. <laughs> After a short boat ride, we arrived at the quote unquote base camp where you can leave your bags and they even have spare gloves in case you didn't bring your own. <laughs> All right, so we walked like 10 minutes. Let's see, there's tiny, tiny ants up there. That's where we're going. Another tiny ant. Now, the last step before the track is putting grandpons on and learning to walk in them. Which was pretty funny, but also difficult with a giant camera, so I don't have a ton of footage from the hike itself. I know, I suck. Thinking around, it's not a photo. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was thinking, how long do I have to hold this post? <laughs> But to make it up to you guys, here's a clip of me using proper grandpa walking technique downhill. Or oh, Pinocchio. <gasps> <laughs> As all good things do, our trek ended with a bit of alcohol. And we even got a drink of whiskey. So, cheers to that. I don't like whiskey. Hold on. I got it. Wow. Mm, that's some good stuff. Yum. <laughs> 
Until next time, be good to one another, be good to our planet, and keep adventuring.